What's going on guys and girls? We are playing some more Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to complete all uh, mission tasks for the mission 10 which is called Angel with Broken Wing. So this mission has five mission tasks to complete. Um, two of them are time sensitive so you got to be very, well actually three of them are time sensitive so you got to be careful about that. So what we're going to be doing is first of all uh, as I am being heli lifted in I'm just going to show you the location of the prisoners so there are two prisoners in this building relatively close to that point uh, just on the second and third story there's a prisoner in that point B that I marked and then there are two prisoners located in that room right there where you can find the fire um, resources and so what we're going to do is we are going to be using D-Dog for this mission and I'm going to use a Jeep the reason for this is because there are so many uh, guards around the area and because of the fact that uh, D-Dog is very good at sniffing out guards so he will give you such good um, uh, en enemy awareness and therefore it also helps you out with spotting where the um, prisoners are if you don't know where they are. So what we're doing here is we're just making it so that we have our Jeep in a place that we can actually get uh, very quickly after we extract the three prisoners from this area uh, because of the fact we're not using D-Horse we want the, the Jeep as close as we can so we can actually do this as fast as possible. So that um, armoured vehicle that I marked is the armoured vehicle that you need to extract uh, for one of the mission tasks. This guy is the guy called Malak and he is the uh, prisoner, that main prisoner that you have to extract for this mission and then we are going to be running around this side so that we can get into this building without being detected as quickly as possible and we are just going to uh, eliminate a whole lot of these guards that are actually going to be slightly frustrating if you don't eliminate them. Um, now this, these three prisoners are, is a time sensitive uh, mission because of the fact that once the uh, driver and that's driving the prisoner uh, Malik out he starts leaving the other guards start coming in and start killing these prisoners so you, what you want to do is you want to make sure that you stop that before it happens and we're going to uh, make sure most of these guys are going to be put to sleep and then some of them are just going to be taken out so this guy right here if you take out one of these two guys at this point uh, it will alert the other one so I like taking out the top guy and then taking out the bottom guy it just seems to be an easier way to do it this guy right here that's walking across down here, he is the guy that is going to come in and kill the prisoners. Um, so you want to make sure that you take him out. Otherwise he might just find empty cells and he will alert them that the prisoners have escaped. Or he will go in and kill them so you just want to make sure he stops that. So you just put a stop to that. So here is the first prisoner, he is on the second level. This is one of the ways you can get into the room. This is also the other way through that door and that's how we're going to get him out. So we are going to uh, take him out this way and we're going to fault and extract him right here because there's a hole in the roof right here. So we're just going to get him out of there like this. And the second prisoner is going to be located on the third story. There is also this guard that uh, walks around quite a lot so you just want to be careful of him. Um, and we're just going to get him and then head upstairs. So the third pris second prisoner sorry, is right here. Now you can't fault and extract him right here. If you had the wormhole fault and device you can extract them from inside buildings so you can just fault and extract them from wherever they are. Uh, but because I don't have that we're going to be, have to take him outside so we can do this. And we're going to fault and extract them out of the area. The other person you're going to have to take out is this guard right here. Now he, if he doesn't see you right now he will eventually probably see you as you are trying to escape the, the third prisoner in this area. And he is within this building right here. You have to unlock it. It takes time and therefore you have a large chance of the guy that I just took out spotting you. So once you grab this guy you want to take him outside, you can instantly fault and extract him from outside, then no one's really going to spot you unless you're doing this a little bit later which you shouldn't be because of the fact that they will be killed if you don't do this early. And this guy usually always has body armor when I was playing so what I did is I just ran up to him and took him out using a CQC and then this guy is also going to be annoying for us uh, just getting over back to our jeep so we're just going to get rid of him. And now we're going to head to our jeep so that we can continue on with the mission. So that is extracted three prisoners being held at the, I have no idea how to say those that, that name, uh, the something something place. So Lama Kati place or something like that. So now what we're going to be doing is we're going to head over to 
the main prison. Now we're going to be heading this way. The reason for this is because of the fact there is a command post to the left of us if you head on along that road. So we're just going to go this way. Um, if you're using a D, um, D horse, it can be a little bit easy to get across and not get spotted. Uh, but because we're using a vehicle, we just want to make sure we give them plenty of room so that they don't see us and we don't get a, um, what are they called? Alert, mission alert enemy alerts that's what they're called something like that um, and so what we're going to do is we don't want to be spotted by this convoy either so either so this is the convoy that is um, taking the prisoner Malik to the main prison and that is the armored vehicle that we want to um, extract so what we want to do is we just want to make sure that they don't spot us because if you do get spotted by these guys or if you extract the armored vehicle before they get to the prison then what happens is they will not end up you will not end up being able to um, hear the conversation between the, dr the truck driver transport truck driver and Malik so what you want to do is you want to make sure that you leave them to be so that they have no idea what's happening that you're around until they have had their conversation uh, if you have already done the conversation one and you just want to extract the uh, truck then feel free to extract the heavy vehicle uh, the armored vehicle and so now over here there are going to be a couple of guys we are just going to go along here and take these guys out and we're just going to clear away while we're waiting for the other the truck to get over here we're actually just going to clear away uh, through these areas so that it makes it easier for us when uh, to actually hear the conversation that they are going to have so now we're just going to keep going forward and until we hit the base and there are going to be a couple of other people we're going to have to take out just so it makes it easier don't tip over your vehicle it can actually be quite easy sometimes uh, with some of these bumps in the road and we're just going to park our vehicle right here and we're just going to reverse it up so it's nice and easy for us for to uh, use to get to the other side when we're going to extract the vehicle so here we go, we're going to just run up here and just going to take this guy that's up here out. So he is going to be patrolling along here. We are going to take him out when he's at the corner. When he's at the corner, he will not be spotted by anyone else if he is um, killed. So what we're going to do is we're just going to get up to this point and wait for him. Now I do have a sniper that is silenced. If you don't have a silenced sniper, you can just use your normal weapon that is silenced. Um, it just is easier to come back here when you have uh, some of the silenced uh, gear because of the fact that you also have to wait for your Fulton to be uh, fully upgraded except for the wormhole device so level 3 I guess you call it uh, Fulton device so you can extract the armored vehicle and right here there's another guy that has got a helmet on so we're just going to be very careful about making sure we get him in the face so that we don't miss now what we're going to do is we're actually going to head back to our vehicle because these guys are coming up to this checkpoint so what we're going to do is we're going to head back to our vehicle drive around behind them and extract the armored vehicle so here we go we're just going to hop in our vehicle here we've parked very nicely for us and we are going to head back this way over the bridge and sneak up behind the armored vehicle so that we can extract it now the best place to extract it is where they are um, placed at, at this corner that I'm going to show you here. There is also the area back in the, uh, the other bridge where they stop to get the sheep. You can extract it there but as I said before that would mean that you would never hear the conversation between the truck driver and Malik. So what we want to do is we want to hop out of a vehicle here before we get spotted and just head up this way so we can get up behind them. We want to do it without being seen now you you can probably be less um you know careful as i was there they were way far away so they was there was no way they were going to see me back there and we are now they are now going to start their engine and as soon as they do that and start driving off we are just going to make sure we get behind the armored vehicle uh very quickly because he will do he will do a three point turn to get around this corner uh, he can't actually do it in a, in a single turn so we're just going to wait for him to become a complete stop and once he stops we're just going to add a Fulton device to the back of him and he is going to go up there now we're also going to take out this guard over here just so that we can get across uh, this bridge very quickly he is the only guard on this bridge so that's very convenient so that for us to just get across here very quickly 
as you can see they're going to go into the prison and it's going to take a while before they have their conversation they're going to have their conversation when he is in his cell room so what we're going to do is we're just going to try and not get spotted we're just going to um be try and be as sneaky as possible we do get uh, a little bit of a uh, look from this guy he is actually going to come down and see us and see what was what what did he see and see if he can find us so we're just going to take him out before that happens we just want to be very careful about anyone who is out of position during this mission because of the fact there are just so many guards uh, now because this area is all clear and I know no one's going to come through here I know that he is going to come down here now because he saw me and so it's going to be fine if I just take him out because no one's going to notice he is gone so he is also wearing full body armor so be careful of that um, it's, I think it's called riot gear so you can't actually hurt him just with ordinary weapons so what we're going to do is we are going to drop down here and we're going to take him out using our knife so we're just going to grab him and take him out. Now we don't want to put him to sleep because of that uh, chance. There's a chance that he might wake up later on. So that's why I decided to get rid of him completely. Now all you need to do is you need to get up here. Now if you want to listen to the conversation and that's all you need to do, uh, you can actually just listen to it from here. But because we're going to try and get the other two prisoners, uh, you can go to the spot there I'm going to go to it's actually a better spot because it's just the way it works uh, so that wall that I was just standing by before you can just stand there and you can end up listening to the conversation but instead I'm going to go up this way and the reason I'm going up this way is the prisoners are in this other far corner and if you go up this way you can actually drop down into the base very easily and without being spotted at least most of the time and then you can hear the conversation that these guys have these guys are going to have using your binoculars so you just got to be careful about this guy down here he is very easily he can very easily see you especially during the day if it's at night it's, it can be a little bit easier um, for, to not get spotted but then you also have different guard positions and all that sort of stuff and it can it can be harder to see them but that's why we bring D-Dog with us because of the uh, enemy awareness we just get so much more combat awareness with D-Dog so now we are up here we can just look at these guys with our binoculars and because our binoculars have a parabolic mic we can listen to the conversation very easily um, and once they start the conversation you just want to keep listening to them until it finishes and if you have skipped forward using the uh, um, timestamps in the description if I have not mentioned that I think I might have I think I might not have um, there are timestamps in the description for each of these tasks. If you've skipped forward to now, uh, key things to note for this one is to make sure that you do not disturb them during their travel here. If you disturb them at all, they will not arrive here. If you take out the extractive vehicle behind them, the, the guard vehicle, armored vehicle, they will not arrive here and have that conversation. And if you have any combat alerts while they are around, they will not have that conversation. So there's quite a few things you just want to make sure you don't do so that they end up having that conversation so you can listen to them. So now what we're going to do is we are going to try and extract everyone. There is a sandstorm in the uh, on the way, so that will unfortunately mean that I can't extract these guys straight away. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use the time that the sandstorm is here to unlock this room so that I can start, ex so that it's just easier for me to extract them later on. And we're just going to pick them up and the best place to extract them if you are able to do so very quickly is just over here. And that means that you can just extract them through the roof and it's very simple and easy because there's a hole in the roof, that's the hole that we came down. And there is also another guard that is walking, that patrols these rooms. So what we're going to do is we're just going to make sure that we get rid of him. So he's just going to, because of the sandstorm, he's not exactly sure what's happening. Um, it's amazing how much sand comes in through the walls in this game. It's pretty funny. And what we're going to do is we can't extract this guy at full 100% certainty. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the sandstorm as cover to eliminate some more guards. So that just makes it easier later on. So we're just going to get rid of this guy in case he wakes up later on. And we are going to eliminate the guy at the door front because he's going to be annoying when we're trying to leave. And now we're also going to eliminate the guard just over here, which is going to be in front of some of the doors that uh, access the prisoner that we need. So the prisoner over here is Malak. He is the main prisoner that you want to extract. Once you extract him, he the mission will be over. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take this guy out. Now you got to be careful when you do this. 
because of the fact um, someone does notice that that happens um, especially if you do it at a certain point so this guy noticed and he also noticed that I came out that door so what we're going to do is we're going to take him out now this is where everything absolutely goes wrong for me um, I just miss and miss and miss uh, if I didn't miss this would be f completely fine but because I did miss I just continued on because it's so close to the end and it doesn't actually matter because of the amount of points you get from completing these objectives and you you don't really need to do it in, a, in, in an extremely quick time to get S rank because I am going to get S rank in this video as well so this guy I really don't want him in there with Malik because uh, I don't want him to end up hurting him so I'm just running in here and I'm going to get rid of him this is actually going to be at the point where everyone notices who where I am and so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to extract Malak out of this room and get him to a semi-safe place and that's near the exit so that's where I'm running right now so hopefully I don't die during this point and then I'm just going to start taking out all the enemies with my gun uh, so getting rid of these guys trying to stay behind as much cover as I can but also being able to shoot at these guys um, and you want to take out this guy and then there's a guy that comes through the door right there through the main gate and there is another guy who has a riot shield now this guy is fairly annoying so what I end up doing is sending shooting um, not shooting uh, throwing a grenade towards him I don't actually get all the way to him because I'm too far away but this grenade right here is enough to scare him off to make him run away a little bit so and then I can shoot him with my gun and now he's down and now we can extract all the prisoners so here we go we're just going to extract this guy right here just send him up through the hole in the roof now because everyone is downed we don't have to worry about um, putting him through the hole in the roof so this guy we're just going to get up and we're going to take him all the way outside so that it's just a little bit quicker and we're going to extract him right here and then we're going to pick up Malik and then head out of this area and get the finished mission so here we go we want to pick up this uh, prisoner he is the Malik guy and we are going to get out of here so first of all we're going to set a uh, extraction point for our helicopter to pick us up because of the fact that uh, we don't have the horse to get us out of the area quickly and because of this this mission area is very large and it's actually hard to get out of this mission area very quickly so what we're going to do is we're going to use the helicopter it's probably one of the quickest ways now I'm not sure if this is closer than some of the other uh, extraction points uh, this is just the one that I chose there's also another one that's on the other side of the compound which is uh, maybe slightly closer so now D-Dog is running with us and he's actually going to point out any um, enemies that are really close but I don't think we run into any and once we have extracted him that will be the mission over and we will have completed all mission tasks in a time that will give us S rank. Um, so there's not much else to this video other than waiting for me to extract them now if you go into your iDroid and go into the missions you actually see all the mission tasks you have completed the ones that are highlighted are the ones you've completed this mission the ones that have just a tick but it's not highlighted that means that you haven't you've completed it before but you haven't completed it this mission the ones that have just a box are the ones that you haven't completed at all and so those are the ones that you just make sure that you do um, if you haven't done them in this playthrough just try again and make sure you try and get them so now what we're going to do is the helicopter is just going to come down so we can actually get on the helicopter and place my life on there as well so we're just going to hop on as well and then that will be the end of the mission once the helicopter exits and what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to show you all of the mission tasks so as you can see I've completed them all the only one that doesn't say I've completed is extract uh, Malik uh, but that is the one that we've just done because we've just put them on it doesn't actually highlight until you've completed it and you won't actually be able to see that it highlights but you will know you've completed it and if you completed the mission before then you've already completed that one anyway so there we go we've finished the mission we're getting a few uh, unlocks and upgrades because we've extracted quite a few people and once all of that is finished you'll get your score screen and for me I got an S rank as you can see um, and the main uh, contributors are you know 81,000 for the time 
and then you know you get uh, fifteen thousand for all the three prisoners at the start, and five thousand for some of the other things. So that's all I'm going to do for this video. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys have been able to get all of the mission task as well as an S rank at some point. And now it's time for me to say see you guys and girls, and hopefully see you in the next video.